Okay, welcome to Biology Crash Course Form 4, Chapter 5. Now let's talk about the introduction here where you need to know two things only, the mitosis and the meiosis. And later on we are going to talk about the cell cycle. That's all for this video. So firstly, mitosis is basically a process where the duplicate cell is a process of a nuclear division which results in the formation of two genetically identified daughter nuclei. Okay, this may sound complicated, but basically it just means cloning. It just means that it is cloning the exact same cell together. While for meiosis, it's a process of a nuclear division that reduces the number of chromosomes to half of that of parent cell. Um, it just means that it is creating the same. It's creating a cell, but that cell it actually have like half of the chromosome. Chromosome is a material, genetic material inside the nucleus and it only have half of it. The reason for this is because they want to produce sex cells which basically in human just sperm and ovum and these two sex cells they come just need half of the chromosome needed to get, we call it gametes not sex cells. Gametes, you can call it sex cells as well but just call it gamete is more polite. Um, this gamete is like it only have half of the chromosome required, so half of the chromosome of the original cell. So when these two ovum and sperm meet together, they form one particular cell, which is the beginning of an embryo that has the 46 chromosome, which is the number, the normal number for a normal human being, normal healthy individual. Okay, so mitosis. In plant, we can say that the function is basically for creating meristematic tissue, you know, the apical lateral meristem that that which they continue to grow, yeah, that is for the plant. And then for human, the import or human or animal, the importance will be like the growth, making a taller and then repairing the cell and then asexual reproduction, where they produce an exact clone, clone of the parents. You know, asexual reproduction, it can be kind of bad because there's no variation, there's no changes for the environment but if the environment is very stable, asexual reproduction is a great way because it's like since it's stable you just need the same clone and your species will continue to survive. Now meiosis it produces haploid cell which basically haploid cell just means like half the number of chromosomes of its parent. The haploid cell basically we write it as 2n which means that it's the normal cell that we have. Every single cell right here is haploid cell while the cell in um, typically just sperm and ovum, they are haploid cell. Yep. So meiosis is basically, imp the importance of it is for the sex gametes, it's producing sex gametes and then it also creates variation of spring which we will see how it happens later. Now, you know in cell cycle about all this duplication when it comes to mitosis and meiosis, it's like a pie chart here where 90% of the pie chart we are doing this three process only, GSG and that short amount of time that we are learning going to be so complex is actually the mitosis and meiosis. So just bear in mind, mitosis and meiosis happen for, the, for only like 10% of the time, it's like a student preparing for their exam, they prepare for like years and the SPM is just a few days and it means their result. Yep, basically that's it. These are the preparation years of, I mean not to say years, um, days of preparation while the process of mitosis and meiosis is just so short. Okay, now this process of preparation, they are called G1S and G2. Basically, if you forget it, it's as simple as G1 stands, G stands for growth, S stands for synthesize. You can kind of remember it through that way. The G1 stands for growth, so it synthesizes proteins and new organelles. And S, it replicates the DNA, it's like synthesized, so synthesize DNA. And G stands for growth again, where in this case they are like um, accumulating their energy. In G1, they also accumulate their energy. So basically, as simple as that. Synthesize proteins and your organelle growth, accumulate energy, synthesize DNA replication, then growth again, accumulate energy.